Hey, welcome to Spotlight Creator Studio and in this video we are going to talk about customization. To allow the readers to customize the character, type the following code at MC select role. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Okay, I'm kidding. That's definitely not all. MC Select Role just provides the most basic customization. As you may have noticed, the basic customization doesn't really have many features. So let me teach you how to provide more features to this template. Add, choose, woman hair, parts, and then on the right side of the screen, you'll see the part tab opened. Click on the parts you want to add to your template. Don't forget to put spaces between them. Now we can see the hairstyles we added. Of course, you can create your own template and place all the elements in order you'd like, but let me share a little life hack with you. On your list, you can find a tutorial story. Let's go there. There is a full customization template in this story, both for male and female. For this video, we are going to take the female one. You can just copy it to your script. Don't mind the no permission warning. It means that you just don't have the permission to modify this chapter, but you can copy the script. To save the time, you can just copy and paste it to your story. The script showed the mistake because I accidentally copied a label, so I just deleted. In this template, you already can find all hairstyles, colors, and facial features. There are a few options for customization interface. Scene, like here, we have the spotlight's background, but we can change it to our own background and adjust the spotting. The most simple and also the fastest way for a creator to put customization would be select role direct. So the reader will go directly to the customization menu with the default spotlight background and camera focus. Now let's give our reader an opportunity to name their character. To address a renamed character in a dialog, use the script name inside the square brackets. If you want as a character, for example, BFF, to have the same name as our main character, you can change her display name to MC in square brackets. You can see that BFF's name was changed to Daisy. Don't worry if during the coding your story you will see the default name, it's normal. The reader on the app will still see the name they chose. Use the become command to make one character look like another one. Let's test it. Remember that the become command is reversible. That means that once a character becomes another one, you cannot undo the action. At this point, you probably have a question. How can I allow reader to customize only hairstyle and lipstick? Let me show you how to modify your template for this. First, I'm going to turn off all the parts except for the hair and the mouse. Then I need to write the disable code for each of the other parts. Disable eyes, disable eyebrows, and etc. And looks like I forgot to turn off the nose. And I think I accidentally put hair colors under the hashtag. So let's remove the hashtag. So it will be visible on the script again. It's important to remember that after you disable some things like nose, face and etc. and later you want to provide the full customization, you have to enable those parts, otherwise they will not work. Now let me show you how to change character parts in the script during the story. Use character name, change hair or any other part to and put the name of this part. You can also add delay if you don't want this code to happen right away. On Spotlight, you can put on and take off different parts of the outfit without need of creating a new outfit. For example, let's make our MC wear sunglasses. We are going to use the same logic as we used with changing the hairstyle. You can see that this action doesn't really look smooth. The sunglasses appear at her face at the very beginning of the animation, before her hand reached the face. Let's improve this a little bit by using the delay command. So now she puts the sunglasses the exact moment when her hand reaches the face. Use the revert command if you want your character to return to their original appearance. For example, we change her hair above and now let's revert it. If the character was customized by a reader, then the reader will see the hair they originally picked. Let me show you how it works. As you can see, the hairstyle went back to the style I picked during the customization, not the default one. That's all for the customization. Now you know how to customize characters inside the script, how to allow the reader to customize and name your character. Thanks for watching. Follow Spotlight YouTube channel for more tutorials and Spotlight Instagram for the updates.